Blood donations have been saving lives for over a century. And with each donation potentially saving up to three lives, this work remains vital. But what can we do to help ensure the health of blood donors? The Cambridge-led COMPARE study, in collaboration with NHS Blood and Transplant, or NHSBT England's Blood Service, aimed to find out. Although blood donation is safe, donors who generously give blood to help others do lose iron during each donation. The body needs iron to make a vital protein found in red blood cells. Called haemoglobin, this protein carries oxygen around the body. So low haemoglobin levels can lead to tiredness and shortness of breath. This is why blood services check each donor's haemoglobin level before they donate. It's important these measurements are accurate, so a person does not donate when they have low haemoglobin. But around the world, blood services use different methods, and it's never been clear which method is best. The COMPARE study recruited over 20,000 blood donors in England. It was the largest study to compare four methods that measure haemoglobin prior to blood donation. The results showed that the best approach for NHSBT was a simple, low-cost copper sulfate test, followed, when necessary, by a more precise method of measuring haemoglobin levels using finger prick blood. The impact of this research was immense. NHSBT changed their policy and retrained staff. As a direct result, an estimated 100 donors a day are more likely to avoid low haemoglobin and potential iron deficiency in England, around 30,000 donors a year. COMPARE also guided NHSBT to avoid a test which measures haemoglobin by shining a light on the skin. This method was insufficiently accurate, especially among people with different skin pigmentation, making it unsuitable for blood services in countries with a diverse pool of donors, such as the UK. This finding further ensures the health of all blood donors. To find out more or get involved in our research, visit donorhealth-btru.nihr.ac.uk.